Today I'm ranking up with an upgraded version of the free Arcanine EX deck on PTCG Live. Pokemon TCG Live gives you a bunch of decks upon signing in. The Arcanine EX deck caught my eye, since Arcanine EX is one of the featured Terra Pokemon in the Scarlet and Violet set, and also because I think there's a lot of untapped potential with Fire Pokemon cards right now. I'll show you how I upgraded the free Arcanine EX deck and teach you the strategies so you can start torching your opponents. The Pokemon TCG is something I'm incredibly passionate about, and that's why I've partnered with Into the AM. Into the AM is an apparel company with passion and creativity at the forefront. They have a wide selection of shirts with awesome designs that push the ceiling of what to expect from graphic tees. If you enjoy my content and you like getting compliments on what you're wearing, you can save 10% on your Into the AM orders and directly support my channel while upgrading your wardrobe. Links and coupon codes are in the description, now let's take a look at Arcanine EX. The brand new terrestrialized Arcanine EX is a breathtaking Pokemon card, but today we'll be focused on its gameplay attributes. Arcanine EX has 280 HP, and it only has to evolve once, from Growlithe. Some of the best cards from recent sets, Lugia V-Star, Palkia V-Star, and Arceus V-Star, all had 280 HP, so we can assume that at the bare minimum, Arcanine EX's HP is at least decent. The abilities and attacks on a Pokemon card can often be more important than the Pokemon's HP. Luckily, Arcanine EX has two solid attacks to choose from. Nice. Raging Claws, which does 30 plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on Arcanine, and Bright Flame, which does 250 damage, but you have to discard two Fire Energies from Arcanine EX. I believe Arcanine EX can work as our main attacker. We just need to trim the fluff from the free deck to make our strategies focused and consistent enough to keep up with the meta decks on the ranked ladder. Here is the free version of the deck that everyone receives. It already includes a lot of powerful cards, like Arcanine EX, Viberol, Radiant Charizard, and a handful of useful trainer cards. One of the most important aspects of deck building for the Pokemon trading card game is to make sure your deck will consistently do the things you want it to do. And with this Arcanine EX deck, I want to use Arcanine's Bright Flame attack on turn 2 every game if possible. The first cards I removed from the deck are Moltres, Heatmore, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, and Rare Candy. This gives us 10 spots to include cards that will be less clunky and will smooth out our early turns. I've added 4 Trekking Shoes, because this is an excellent item card for seeing a couple more cards and looking for the exact cards you need. Since we lost the ability Charizard provided to increase the value of our energy, I've added the new Armor Rouge card, which allows you to move energy from your benched Pokemon to your active Pokemon. This synergizes incredibly well with Magma Basin, and also means you can switch out a damaged Pokemon and move the energy to a healthy Pokemon. In place of Defiance Band and XP Share, I've included two Choice Belts and one Forest Seal Stone. Choice Belt allows Arcanine EX and Radiant Charizard to hit 280 damage against Arceus V-Star, Lugia V-Star, and Giratina V-Star. Barst Seal Stone gives your deck a good V-Star power to make use of, and we have Entei V and Delphox V as options to attach it to. Entei V is a solid attacker, has a good ability, and can use Forest Seal Stone, which made it a good inclusion for the deck. Since our entire deck focuses on dealing maximum damage to the opponent's active Pokemon, I also included Delphox V to unlock a hidden strategy of dealing damage to the benched Pokemon, if needed. On screen now is my fully upgraded version of Arcanine EX, and you can find the importable deck list in the description. If you need more cards and credits to build this deck, I suggest purchasing Scarlet and Violet codes and Celebrations codes from PoTownStore.com, and you can use my code CELIO to save 5%. If you want to build your own decks, use PokemonCard.io and share your creations with the world. Now let's check out this upgraded Arcanine EX deck on the Pokemon TCG Live ranked ladder. I'm currently in the Great League with a rank score of about 700, so we can tell from this game if Arcanine EX is going to be able to compete with ranked decks around the same score. So if you're around this score or lower and you end up trying this deck, let me know how you do with it. Uh, so the opponent won the coin flip, but they also had four mulligans, so we get to start with a good bit of extra cards in our hand here, and it looks like they're playing a Gardevoir deck, setting up some of their Ralts, and we have a lot of powerful cards to use this turn. 
including Arvin and trekking shoes, nest ball, ultra ball. Starting with trekking shoes, we're not really going to need that boss's orders, so we'll go ahead and discard that. We top deck far seal stone, which is a great card. Also, probably means that Arvin might not be that good to play, but maybe we still use it just to get an extra nest ball. So I'm going to go ahead and ultra ball away a fire energy and also accelerate that fire energy with magma base into NTV. And I specifically got NTV so I could use its fleet foot ability so that I could draw that extra card because it's a good attacker turn one going second and because I can attach far seal stone to it to get any card that I need. We'll go ahead and Arvin there for Nest Ball and Choice Belt. And we attach the Forest Seal Stone to Entei. Um, but we don't need to use it this turn. We could save that for later when we need something else. We have an amazing board of uh, Growlithe, Badoof, Charcadet, and Entei V. Couldn't really ask for much better on your first turn. We have one of each of our pre evolutions, and we got to take a knockout on the opponent's Ralts. So the opponent was able to search for Gardevoir, play Rare Candy to put it down, and they played Judge. Now our new hand is not that great, but we do have the Far Seal Stone on our NTV, which is really going to help us. We can just go ahead and get a Bibberol or a Professor's Research or really anything that we want with that Far Seal Stone's Star Alchemy V-Star Power ability that it grants to NTV. And um, I'm pretty sure their guard of REX cannot knock out Entei this turn, which is good for us because Entei has our Far Seal Stone that we really want to use. And then it's just going to be a pass back over to us. I'll start out with Fleet Footed to draw a card before I make any decisions. We'll attach an energy to Growlithe. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use that V-Star power now to get Bibberol instead of something like a Professor's Research because that means we can also use Boss's Orders. We'll go ahead and hunt down that Curlia because that's going to be the draw power for their deck, but it'll also evolve into another Gardevoir. We can take care of that ahead of time, boss that up and knock it out while establishing our board a little bit more with an Armor Rouge on the bench and also a Bibberol on the bench. Opponent uses a Miriam, shuffles back those curly of the Ralts, draw three cards, but it looks like they did not enjoy the cards that they drew from there. I was really happy to see we ranked up uh, into the Houndoom tier with this deck, and we also got a bunch of rewards with the Arcanine EX deck from winning that match. Game 2 was against a Lost Zone Toolbox deck. This kind of deck features a lot of single prize Pokemon and also Pokemon that can deal bench damage like Radiant Greninja, as well as place damage counters like Sableye. I had a pretty good setup here. Radiant Charizard isn't the best kind of starter, but we can get out of there. We play a couple of Switch in the deck and we can always search those out with an Arvin if we really needed to, or even just use the Radiant Charizard as the attacker. I unfortunately was not able to put together an attack on my second turn this game, uh, and this put me behind for the remainder of the match, but I do think Lost Zone decks will be a bit of a problem for this deck, and honestly they're a problem for a lot of decks. Lost Zone decks are just very, very strong in the current standard format, but I think something like a Picnic Basket to heal our Pokemon, or maybe even a Mana Fee to protect from bench damage, could be some future considerations to add into this deck if you're also struggling against Lost Zone builds. Although I felt behind in the game, my setup was still really good and my deck was functioning, so I was really happy about that because my goal for this upgraded version of Arcanine EX was to get it set up and get it going and being able to play with some of these cards that might not be featured at the top of the metagame right now and certainly are using a good bit of one of the free decks that PTCG Live gave us. On this turn, I was able to put together an attack with Radiant Charizard to take a two prize KO on the opponent's Raikou V. My opponent made great use of their Radiant Greninja's Moonlight Shuriken attack by knocking out my already damaged Radiant Charizard and my Growlithe that was on the bench. Here's some of the ways that those cards I mentioned earlier, Manaphy and Picnic Basket, maybe could have helped circumvent a poor matchup against this Lost Zone Toolbox deck. In the end, I did bring it to two prizes to two prizes, but unfortunately I was not able to close it out and the opponent did win this game. 
Now you're ready to upgrade your Arcanine EX deck and take it to the ranked ladder on Pokemon TCG Live. Hopefully you learned some tips and tricks along the way to build your own new decks as well. Let me know if there's another free deck that you'd like to see me upgrade in this way. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to help support my channel, you can use my affiliate links and coupon codes in the description down below for potownstore.com, Dragon Shield Sleeves, and intotheam.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon TCG content. I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.